15 signs you're a Minecraft addict. Comment down below if you have another suggestion for things people who are addicted to Minecraft do. Because I know there's not only just 15. So let's go ahead and get started. You know how to craft everything, not just on vanilla, but a lot of mod packs. No joke, I knew a kid who could craft anything you asked him to without any guides on vanilla, heck it, feed the beast. And I'm over here just struggling to make a sword. Alright, what the heck. You have owned Minecraft on PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, Pocket Edition, and any other Minecraft emulator. You have VIP rights to Hive, Hypixel, and Mindplex. You don't claim to have any friends. Your only friends are the ones that are in your faction. You know every snapshot and update before it even happens. Now that's kind of like with any game though, like if you look at Call of Duty, Clash of Clans, whatever you play, there's going to be those guys who know everything about the next update before it will ever happen. It's especially true though on Call of Duty. In Minecraft there are those people who are like, I know there's going to be, for instance, there's the guys, before the horses came out, there's always the guys who are like, I know there's going to be horses in the next one, and they jumped on the bandwagon, and it was interesting. You can build things like this without using MC Edit. You've used up all the hard drive space on your computer by downloading mods. That's a lot of stinking mods, guys. Now this one's kind of weird. We've all maybe have a little bit of this in us, so I guess we can all say we have a little bit of Minecraft attic in us. But you own some sort of apparel for Minecraft. Whether it be shirts, Legos, Minecraft glasses, or even a Minecraft car. That's taking that concept and stretching it out to the extreme. When you're out in public and you're looking at several objects, you size them up and see if you can build it on Minecraft. Now I've personally done this one guys, like you go to a really cool like building or something and you're like, can I build that? And you think to yourself like what block you're going to use for which area, how it's going to go around, how you're going to like go about designing it and how long it's going to take. There are some people who take that concept and actually apply it to Minecraft itself. Your workout playlists are Minecraft tracks. I'll get in the comment section every now and again where people are like, these are my favorite set of songs. And it's either like Minecraft music video songs, the little jukebox playlist you have, or just overall Minecraft themed songs in general. I'm sorry, but I, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's, that's too much. That's too much going through my head. When I'm working out or when I'm doing, I'm running, doing anything athletic, I'm not thinking about the dang game. Or maybe I am. This one right here is for all the OG savages out here. You've seen Herobrine. Nobody may believe you, but you put in enough time in that game, and you know you've seen Herobrine. This one is kind of me right here, but you've lost count of how many times you've won survival games, or just any PvP game in general. More like something like pros would do in Minecraft, not just like signs you're addicted. Even though you've played so many times that you can't even keep count of how many times you've won, you're kind of, you're kind of an OG. You buy a new computer just to play Minecraft. Or I've seen people who, when Minecraft came to the PS3, they literally went out and bought a PS3 just to play Minecraft on the PS3. Maybe their computer ran crappy and it just does, it's not working recording well or doing something. They went out and bought a new computer just to play the game more. Get that 120 FPS right there. You have multiple survival worlds or just worlds in general and they all look absolutely incredible. They look kind of like this. I've had some pretty spectacular worlds but there are some people who are just absolutely incredible. The people who make like cities and stuff, like tip your cap to them because that probably takes like half a year or just the adventure map makers, all these map makers, that's some pretty like addicted stuff but that is like... That's that's a whole nother level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Like the guys who made West West Westboros, Westeros, whatever it's called, the the Game of Thrones map that was like so highly revered as one of the best maps of all time on Minecraft. That is like completely addicted to Minecraft, but it's so cool. Your dream trip is to go to Minecon or just any other Minecraft-related event. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was 15 signs you're addicted to Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, comment down below any other signs that you could have that you're addicted to Minecraft. I know I'm going to get those people in the comment section who are just like, you're addicted if you make crappy videos like this one. But it's all right. A comment's a comment. You know what I mean? Or just tell me some stories that you've had, maybe personal relationships, like, you know, like, I, I felt this way when whenever, you're like, number 15, when you were like, have you ever been to Minecraft? I've been to Minecraft, dude, and... I am addicted. I definitely just like to hear that. Like this video up. That would definitely be appreciated. A like goes a long way. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Later.